How Fortnite Got Popular The Rise of Fortnite in 2018 Everyone is tired of all these videos about why Fortnite is dying and what happened to Fortnite. In this video, I will explain why this cartoon third person game got so popular. It all started when Fortnite was released, which was way back in July 2017, and there was Save the World. Though it did have a decent amount of players, Epic came up with just genius idea and that was to create a battle royale mode. This would soon be released in September 2017 and it quickly took off. Even in beta, players like Ninja were having fun with the game and once more and more players recognized it, it became more popular. In its first two seasons, which players nowadays consider the OG seasons, it was already one of the most popular games on Twitch. It wasn't until big celebrities like Drake who with Ninja set Twitch's records that day they were playing. That Fortnite would have this big exponential growth. Another big influencer that helped Fortnite grow was Marshmallow. They even made him an own concert which was actually pretty dope. Now any game could have had celebrities playing and no one would play it still. So what's allowed Fortnite to gain such a massive following just by big streamers? Well because of how easy it is to just hop on and play. The cartoony graphics makes kids and their parents okay with the game because it has no blood or mature content. Another thing is that it really had no competition because PUBG was really the only other big battle royale at the time. But it didn't support consoles. And plus Fortnite is free, giving it the opportunity to take a huge chunk of players. In fact, the console player base is the largest percent of players in Fortnite, and it's the biggest contributor to Fortnite's growth in the early seasons. The early success in the early seasons contribute to the success of seasons 3, 4, and 5 by creating a snowball effect. Since players were getting into Fortnite, they would tell their friends to play too, because Fortnite had access to really every type of device with cross-platform use with game modes like squads and 50v50. So as more and more players tell other people about this new game, players started to join. And you can't go a day without looking at YouTube and not seeing Fortnite. It was so hard to get away from. One way Epic stayed relevant with Fortnite was that they kept pushing updates every week. The same time setting records on Twitch and gaming history. It's so easy to share Fortnite because you can do an emote in public or something and people will notice it's from Fortnite. Or some people would have a conversation about the new Fortnite season causing others to check it out. Another small ball effect is the growth of the game and this causes small streamers to grow. No one knew Cypher or Tifu before Fortnite. This is because of all things you can do in Fortnite. For example, Cypher grew by giving tips on the map and talking about new updates while Tifu was having fun exploring updates and the glitches. You can name dozens of streamers that come from Fortnite's competitive tournaments. For example, the World Cup. Who would have known Bugga if Fortnite wasn't a thing? Well, all these streamers were loyal to Fortnite at the time and no one wanted to quit. And obviously the OP items because once people complain, it makes people want to check it out. And that's why Fortnite added so many OP items for fun, therefore leading to more players. And we all know this damages Epic in the long run. The last thing I want to talk about about Fortnite's growth are its partnerships. Because Fortnite's community is so involved with everything, why not connect with Avengers and John Wick and Star Wars? This brought players to not just Fortnite, but also to John Wick and Avengers fans. Everyone already heard of all the things of why Fortnite is dying, so I won't get to into that in this video. I do have a video on that and I will put it in the description. What do you think about this topic? If you want to learn more about gaming, or you just want to know more about games, subscribe. I post videos weekly, and you'll be missing out on a ton of things you might want to know about gaming. Thanks for watching, and let's have a discussion about this in the comments below.